हेलो एवरीवन भावना गुनवानी दिस साइड टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वेरिएबल्स इन जावा अ वेरिएबल इज नथिंग बट अ कंटेनर दैट होल्ड्स द वैल्यू दैट विल बी यूज्ड थ्रू आउट द प्रोग्राम एग्जीक्यूशन इट इज अ नेम व्हिच इज एसोसिएटेड विद द वैल्यू दैट कैन बी चेंज्ड व्हेनेवर रिक्वायर्ड विद द हेल्प ऑफ असाइनिंग अ वैल्यू इनटू इट each and every variable will have a specific data type what kind of value we wanted to hold into that variable according to that the size to the variable is also assigned just like integer holds 4 byte so if you would like to store specific kind of data according to that the memory location will be given variables uh, can be declared as primitive and non primitive types today we are discussing about primitive types here where we can say that we are we have total 8 primitive data types that we can use to declare the variables byte short int long float double char or boolean out of these 8 types byte short int and long are the integer types float and double are the decimal precision types that holds the decimal values char stores a single character at a time and boolean stores true or false with respect of the condition there is a specific syntax how do we declare or initialize a variable whenever we give a name to a particular variable we define the type of that variable and then we assign a value into it if we have a multiple variables of similar data type we can separate them with the help of comma now let's try to understand how to declare assign and initialize variables in java here i'm going to create a new file variables example You can see that the class is generated. I'm gonna add a main method here. Declaring declaration of a variable. Let's say I'm gonna hold an integer value. After that, I'm assigning a value to it. value equals to 100 you can also combine these two iterations that is declaration and assignment together that's known as an initialization that is integer let's say i'm naming this variable this time as another value equals to let's say 1000 let's try to print it out the value and another value as you know we just need to run this program to see the output that is 100 and 200 1000 so guys this is something how to declare a variable at the later stage of the application uh, or a program that we are executing or writing it up we can change its value by reassigning a value to it but if we already know the initial value of a particular variable to start with we can assign the value at the same time where we are declaring it i hope you guys have a clear idea how to work with basic iterations of declaration assignment and initialization of a variable we have different types of variables where we have local variable instance variable and static variable this kind of variable is known as local variable because they are declared inside the body of the method which is called a local variable here this variable is declared within a main method so their scope will also be within the main method only when we declare a variable within a particular body that body can be a method constructor or block so that variable can be used within that particular constructor method or block those cannot be accessible from anywhere in the program 
their existence remains to that particular block only so for example if today i'm gonna create here a method called public void display so if i am having a particular method here let's a variable here that say int num equals to 10 so the scope of this num will available to this particular method only if you will try to access this num here in this main method will not be applicable so that is how the local variable are accessible to a particular block where that has been declared let's keep this method static as of now just to call it with the name of the class and we'll see that how we can access this num within that particular block only i'm gonna save it and just try to call this here variable example dot display now let's just run this you can see that the value of num is being printed so the scope of this num is local it means to this particular display method the scope can be restricted to a particular method particular constructor or a particular block as well after that we also take care of the naming conventions while uh, writing a java program if we writing a class we should start the class name with the upper uppercase letter and it should be a noun the variable name that we are writing that should be start with lower case or you can follow by the camel case that is uh, something called lower case hello and then world w should be capital this way constant start with the uppercase always that are fixed variables we'll discuss in upcoming sessions and the method name again that should start with lowercase if the long name is there then you can use the camel case naming convention itself if you are writing interface then starts with the uppercase letter as the class name is and it should be adjective that defines to be i hope it's clear to all of you until next time, stay tuned. Thank you.